adventures. It is the leaf factor once again. This week was originally supposed to be the vlog of the day two that my parents and I had in London, England, two summers ago. Wow, like seriously, two summers ago. It doesn't even feel like it's been that long, but I digress. It was supposed to be a vlog. I look back at the footage for the past week trying to edit it, and it just looked like, well, it looked like trash. <laughs> it wasn't good at all. I tried, I tried making it and interesting to watch. So this week we are going to be taking a slightly different approach uh, to that. These, okay, that's way too bright. Anyway, <laughs> technically it was our first day in London because when we first got there, it was like, God, I think it was like a 17 hour flight, something like that to actually like get there. And I did vlog that first day, but again, came across the same situation. It was just too damn boring to actually show you guys. So I was like, nope, okay, we're gonna scrap that too. So we finally got there after being extremely jet lagged. Hello. There you go. Very painful. I'm not talking to myself. You clearly see that I'm talking to the camera. Because we were so jet lagged the first day, the next day we decided to try to get up at 8 a.m., but that did not end up working. We accidentally woke up at like 11 a.m. this morning, which is like three hours later than we were trying to. So we're a little behind schedule, but now we're on our way. It's gonna be good. So anyways, I was saying, one of the first things that we decided to do was hop on, hop off bus tour. Now, for those of you who have traveled to like very, let's just say, average touristy areas, like obviously like London or like New York, you know, places that like a lot of people are like, I wanna go to this place because it's been glorified to go there. Not to put down those places or anything, but you, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people have gone there because it's touristy. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So uh, we decided to do one of those bus tours and I wrote out a list of pros and cons because of that. To the pros and cons of hop on and hop off tour buses. That feels like a tongue twister. Okay, oh, oh that's cold. Okay, that didn't work as planned. Okay, pro number one, you get to quickly see the city. It's way easier than being able to like just go in a taxi and just like look around. Being able to be on a double decker bus and just like see everything, kind of just to get a feel to what you're getting into. Pro number two, it's the most, in my opinion, the relaxing way to see a city. You just get to sit on the top of a double-decker bus, just kind of chill, feel the wind in your hair, even though the wind is so intense that there's no way you're gonna be able to talk and vlog at the same time without a mic, which I definitely do not have, but that's more of a YouTuber problem than just an average traveler problem. Now the last pro I could think of for these tours that you can get off whenever you want, which honestly is like super nice, especially when you know what stop is coming up and you're like, oh, you know, I just want to get off there. Hurry, truck, that. That's why you don't go when it's red. And then when you want to get back on, it's usually only like, Kind of from my recollection anyway, like 10 to 15 minute wait time, which is really not that bad. Now I like to think I'm not a pessimist, but you know, you always have to have a cons list to a pros list when you're giving people the truth. The thing I didn't really like about these tours, just very touristy spots, you don't get to see like real, it doesn't feel like you're seeing like London, London, like how Londoners experience, you know, because you're just, you're just seeing the touristy spots, which is only a con for people like me who are trying to be less touristy but they're pros for people who just want to see those types of things. For a person who likes to take travel photos in general, hop on and hop off tour buses are really hard to get good photos. Like, for example, here's are some of the best ones that I was able to get. Not great, right? <laughs> Sorry, this is getting six great. Sunglasses are gonna go on. I'm gonna turn like Casey Neistat for a second. Because you're moving around so much and half the time you're in front of like a glass, you're just not gonna get a good photo, so. Going back to one of the pros, this is just a good way to see the city, not taking pictures of the city. You're gonna have to wait to get off the bus for that. All right, so back to the story. After we spent more time on the hop on hop off bus, we actually did the entire, I think it was like two hour tour. Pretty, like I said, it pretty much took us around the entire city of London. And we did get off at a few places very quickly. Like one of them I remember was the Frank, what's it called? To Buckingham Palace. You can probably see one of the guards if I just zoom in. I can't zoom in. We took some like dorky photos there. Well, we didn't take like dorky photos. I got my mom to take photos of me being dorky. <laughs> Check that. <laughs> so then after we saw a little bit of the outside of the Buckingham Palace, we got to go to the London Tower. And dad ended up making a little bit of a boo-boo when we went there. <laughs> What did you do? Retreat, retreat! Oh my god, my ears. Oh my god, these are narrow stairs. Little people. Little people, little people. 
people. I can't even do it without holding onto the railing. Then, when we were walking through the one, well, one of the parts where you can like cross to a different part of the tower, we saw the weirdest thing that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> These, these two ravens, I thought they were fake, but they're definitely not. They house them here and feed them. Caution. Ravens may bite. I would say so. Yeah, those ravens are honestly like pretty damn scary. It's like literally look like straight out of a horror movie. I think I actually said that. Oh, straight out of a horror movie, I tell you. Fun fact about those ravens, they're actually called the Guardians of the Tower. They actually like those two ravens that are there, they stay there and they feed them like this weird meat. We also got to see the crown jewels in the London Tower and we weren't allowed to take video footage of in there, so sorry. <laughs> so getting to walk through the London Tower, you get to just see different areas where those guys in the tall hats are like guarding the places, which we got to see those too and that was quite interesting as well. Okay, I didn't get it on camera because you know, obviously you probably won't be able to, so I just want to tell you guys. We were up there, you probably just see him way down there with all those tourists. One of those guards that uh, the queen has in front of there that you like, they can't talk. I don't remember their official name, but he, he has to be there and a bunch of people are just like taking photos of in front of him and just, you know, being typical tourists. And so I took just a picture of him and then I just kind of whispered over, I was like, thanks for putting up with us. And he did like the, like a slight wink at me and acknowledged it. I was like, yes. I got into acknowledge me, so that was pretty cool. So that's why I just wanted to tell you guys that. Like I said, it's very touristy type of place to go, but if you're in the mood to just like learn some history and not really like have anything extremely exciting, like, you know, going down a huge water slide. <laughs> things like that. <laughs> um, it was nice. It was nice and relaxing. Yeah, I definitely suggest going to the London Tower. God, this is what happens when you wait two years to talk about a trip. You just forget a lot of the details. So yeah, that was pretty much our second day in London. I kind of regret not being able to get like better footage when I was there. I mean, like back then, I didn't want to try using my iPhone again because it kept filling up and then I wasn't able to get all the footage onto my computer fast enough. So I ended up trying to use like this really cheap digital camera that I had left in the house because I didn't have the money for this camera yet. And it just, I, I did my best. But I'm going to try my best to make do with the footage that I have and make it as entertaining as possible. And I hope you did enjoy this video. Yeah, check out my travel Instagram if you'd like to see more. That's all for today's vlog. Thank you for watching Leaf Factor Adventures. And remember, think for yourself, use your head, and learn something new. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Okay, we're going to start over again. Take three. Oh my God, I'm freaking out right now. What happens if I look at that? Okay, yeah, I can't look at the, I can't look at that screen. I have to look at you. Okay. Is it still recording? Yeah, it definitely was. Okay.